Ruby Gang is an Afro soul singer. She is a lover of music. She is a lover of life. She is a lover of of God, and she is a lover of all things soulful. <laughs> I'm signed to Loopy Music, which is MI's record label. Um, Loopy Music is a sister company of Chocolate City. Loopy started in 2003, way back in Joss when I met MI through Jesse Jags. We're then in our church choir, and I sang and Jesse played the drums. So we kind of came together to form like this crew. So we would sing and dance and perform in churches, in schools, in bars, on the street, anywhere actually that we had the chance to perform. And Nuclear Music eventually started out officially 2012. So it's been a 10 year dream that has finally come to fruition. All I do is music, full time, 100%. Music is my first love. Number one, number two, number three. A to Z. So I am a fool for loving you so Now that I don't have where to go You show me who you really are I have two singles, I have two videos I, I think that the way for me to connect more with people is to put out more music and to perform a lot more I just need to be every and anywhere Push my music wherever it can go to when you didn't have pain. But it's all I think that soul music will give me great opportunities simply because it is a, a genre that allows artists to have a very, very long lifespan. You can do soul music when you're 80 years old. Examples would be B.B. King. You have Aretha Franklin, who is 70 and still performing. You have Stevie Wonder, too, who is in his 70s and is singing just as... He, as good as he did as a young man, he's still performing at shows all across the world. So I think that even though soul music as a genre is kind of new to Nigerian music, I think that its potential, you know, for growth is just infinite. And eventually, I think it will become a genre, a respected genre on its own within the Nigerian music market. I'm saying there will always be jollof music. They always will be, but... It will keep changing and the artists that do it will keep coming and going but those artists who tend to do the soul and the jazz will always get a place to perform will always have people who want to listen to soul music who love jazz music so that's kind of like the difference I mean, it's sad in that, you know, we all started out together, like I said, 10 years ago. And with him leaving, you know, we all miss him. We're all sad. It would have been wonderful if we could, if we could keep going on together. But the truth, the truth about life is that eventually everybody will kind of go their own way. So even as much as, you know, Jesse isn't around or um, other people we started with, you know, we're, we're still good friends. We still stay in touch. And it's family. So that will never change. Brian was leaving, it was sad for us, but at the same time, if he feels like, oh, this is, I kind of, I've, I've worked with these guys, and at this point in time, I want to find my own way, I want to do my own thing, you know, so I wish, I wish Brian more, you know, great success. He's an incredibly talented artist, and I, I think that eventually he'll find his feet and he'll do very well. Yeah, eventually, eventually. Um, music is a jealous lover, though. So whoever I kind of settle down with, you know, we kind of have to have that understanding that, you know, this job I do is really difficult and it takes you away for, you know, large amounts of time. But I'm just hoping and praying that eventually I'll find that, you know, my soulmate, someone that gets me and would support me in doing this thing because I never will be happy if I, if I stop doing music, never. I am single, 
but you know i'm kind of ready to mingle so i mean we'll see how that goes No, I, I don't want to date anybody in the industry. I want a life that is as far removed from the industry as possible. So Ruby will probably date just a very normal, average guy. I love to read. I love to watch movies. I love romance. I love comedies. But my favorite is romantic comedies. I enjoy the two. So I love to watch i because of how much you know our work takes us out you're in the clubs you're on tv you know you're doing radio i like to spend time alone in my room just quiet you know with my large mug of tea for me now it's something that i really love to do really no i just want to be known as an artist Thirteen. what I loved about it was the fact that um, I was able to put out a new single. The first single I put out, okay, was not exactly official. It was kind of like an experiment where like, we don't know exactly how people, you know, relate to soul music, especially a song that is so slow. So we just put it out and the reception was very good the year before, 2012. So 2013, putting out a new single and experimenting with house music was very exciting for me. Um, what I plan to do in 2014 is to put out an EP, to put out more videos and to perform as much as possible and to do collabs with people in different genres to kind of broaden my audience. Hopefully get an endorsement. <laughs>